we will continue with the Christmas tree problem and marginal analysis for a discrete demand distribution. Part B says, uh, or is working with the same uh, probability distribution where uh, we have uh, these values to be the possible demand for the Christmas trees. Uh, we are given the uh, probabilities that are listed here and of course we need to compute this um, cumulative demand column. Uh, let's assume for this part uh, cost per Christmas tree is $35 and our selling price is $80. So that means step one in our analysis, marginal loss is 35 and marginal profit is the 80 minus 35, which is 45. Step two, compute critical probability of marginal loss divided by marginal loss plus marginal profit, which in this case is 0.438. The third step is to identify that or to place that critical probability along this axis right here. So when you place it along this cumulative column, you will see that 0.3 0.438 falls right here because it's a value between 0.35 and between 0.65. So because it falls there, we will select the level right above it and therefore when there's cost per unit is $35 and selling price is $80 per tree, our Q star is to stock 125 units. Part C of this problem assumes that um, our uh, selling price, um, what does part C say? Okay, the cost is still $20, but our selling price is now $100. So, of course, that changes our marginal loss. Uh, our marginal loss will be uh, $20, and our marginal profit will be the 100 minus 20, which is 80. So that changes our critical probability to be 20 divided by 20 plus 80, which is 0 0.2. But now this part says, because our selling price has changed, our demand distribution changes. Now the author of this problem assumes that demand is going to be um, 50, 75, um, 100 or 125 uh, because of this new price structure. And it also tells us assume probability of any of those demands values is equally likely. So that means that's 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0 0.25. And of course the summation will have to add up to 1. This is the summation. Summation equals 1. So um, we've done step 1, which is to identify marginal loss and marginal profit. We've done step 2, which is to compute our critical probability. Step 3 is to find probability that demand will be greater than or equal to x. And of course at this point it'll be 1. 0 0.75, 0 0.5, and 0 0.25. And the last step is to place that critical probability along this cumulative column. So 0.2 is actually below 0.25. So our using applying the same rule as we did before, we pick the quantity right above it, 
which is 125. So Q star will be 125. Now, um, I will, um, um, I will, um, let's go ahead and um, assume um, that, let's go ahead and assume that um, selling price, I'm sorry, cost per unit is $30. This is a um, part of the problem that I'm just creating on my own. Let's say cost per unit is $30. Let's say selling price per unit is $90. But let's say that there is a salvage value. So maybe this is a new part that a uh, new thing that we haven't done so far in these calculations. Let's say each tree has a salvage value, meaning that at the end of the season, if they have not sold a tree, that they can maybe sell it for $5 to a local recycling company so that they can recycle it and make um, um, mulch and everything out of it. So now, what is my marginal loss? My marginal loss right now is the $30, which it costs me. But then if I don't sell something, I can get $5 back. So now really my marginal loss is $25 at the end of the season. My marginal profit, of course, is still going to be the $90 that I could sell it for minus the $30 if I had a tree to sell. Um, if demand is there and I'm able to sell it, I would make $60 of profit. So if, if I don't have a tree to sell, then my lost profit would be $60. So now my critical probability will be 25 divided by 25 plus 60, which is 25 over uh, 85, which is 0. Point, let me compute that. 25 over 85, which is 0. 0.29. So now I'm going to take this 0. 0.29 and place it along this probability column, assuming that these are still the probabilities that apply. So 0. 0.29 would be would fall right over here because it's between 0.25 and 0.5. And then I would come here and pick the quantity above it. So for this problem that I just made up, Q star is, Q star is 100 units. Okay, thank you.